Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. Hi, I am Greg, and welcome. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hey, if you're not new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing as the same thing as well. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So, we learned quite a few things, I think, in our first preseason game uh, last Saturday against the Carolina Panthers. First of all, I think the first thing that we learned is the fact that Carson Wentz did just fine. There was a lot of talk about how Carson Wentz wasn't quite, you know, he was overthrowing or throwing high and all this stuff in training camp and, you know, just the whole rigmarole of, yeah, maybe he's not going to be playing that well, you know, at least in the early going. He's going to be rusty and all this stuff. I thought he played very well. Um, you know, he came out, he was, he did, one thing I will knock him on is holding the ball a little too long a couple of times, but at the same time, he made up for it with some nice strikes. Uh, he really enjoyed throwing to his tight ends. Um, that was good, but he did get the ball to Terry McLaurin. And he did attempt to get the ball, I think, to uh, Jahan Dotson. Uh, Dotson didn't have a catch, but you know he wasn't in there long enough to, to really get a catch. So he did stretch the field, and that's one thing that I think you're going to notice. It's very important is the fact that having somebody like Jahan Dotson in there stretching the field, it's going to open up more opportunities for Terry McLaurin, vice versa, right? So I thought the offense played very well, especially with uh, Carson Wentz in there um, with the, the first-team offense. Um, I was very pleased. In years past, it was kind of agonizing to see the first team offense in there because I felt like they just never would really get things going in the preseason, partly because that you're you're calling a very vanilla type of offense, so you don't really want to show your hand in preseason that much. But secondly, just the fact that I felt like it always took until about game three or four for the offense to really wake up and to start playing well during the season. And I'm seeing that the first team offense has come out and they have played well. And that gives me a lot of hope for this team because there's a lot riding on this season. And uh, so, you know, I really think that um, I saw a lot of good things. One bad thing that I saw that everybody has certainly been talking about Antonio Gibson fumbling. This continues to be a problem, and if you're going to fumble in preseason, you're not going to be able to, to play. And Antonio Gibson fumbling. Ron Rivera, he touched on this in his uh, post-game conferences and stuff like that. You know, he said, look, Terry McLaurin is basically, not Terry McLaurin, but Antonio Gibson is basically kind of tiptoeing through and he's kind of shuffling with his feet instead of just hitting the the hole hard running hard running with a purpose when he starts kind of dancing around in there that's when he he gets in trouble and he's going to lose the football and he's got to learn to stop doing that and right now we saw what Brian Robinson was able to do and man can he run the rock i mean he moves the pile I was so impressed. Already, after one game, I'm like, this guy's going to be RB1. You know, and certainly you're going to have some of those naysayers who are like, I can't believe after one game, people are, are crowning him as the, the first, you know, as, as the first string running back. Did you see him play? I mean, he scored his first ever touchdown in the NFL. And... <laughs> I guess you can also argue the first ever touchdown for the Washington Commanders. So, can you really argue right now the way that he played in that game? I mean, he really, I mean, he, he played well. He played well. 
and I, I think you're going to see a lot of him in the pre or I think you're going to see a lot of him in the regular season. I think you're going to see Antonio Gibson a lot less, maybe more in special circumstances because I think Antonio Gibson right now he can't be trusted with the rock. You know, when he when he protects the football, he is a great player. But you have got to protect the football and he is he has just not been trusted to do that. Um, the, uh, the other things, um, you know, the defensive line, uh, John Allen, he's already stepped it up. You can tell he's going to have a great season this year. Um, I'm, I'm just excited for John Allen. You know, usually after you, you get a, a big contract, you kind of, you know, put it on cruise control for a little bit. Not John Allen. He looks like he's, he's set out to prove himself and um, he played well. Deron Payne played well as well. You know, he's really going to make you believe that you should keep him, and maybe we should. Um, and I would love to keep Deron Payne, if at all possible. I know we drafted a guy, but um, I, I think that, you know, you keep Deron Payne if you possibly can. Um, I'm looking to see if, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see when we get Chase Young back, how that defensive line is going to completely solidify. But uh, I didn't really have any problems with that defensive line. Uh, linebackers, I think that hopefully that they're improving somewhat as well. Um, secondary continues to be a little hit or miss. Um, you know... The Panthers were able to score some points. <laughs> um, it wasn't necessarily, I think, a lot of times with blown coverages or anything like that. Um, what I saw was pretty good coverage. It's just that you had men who beat men, you know, man-on-man uh, -man coverage, and they just got beat. And so, you know, we're just going to have to continue to improve the secondary, but... Um, at the same time, um, the defense, they did struggle a little bit in training camp. And, you know, they were our rock in 2020. They're going to have to continue to try to, to crawl themselves back to being the rock for this team. Because I think this year you're going to see a big leap ahead for the offense. Um, so, that being said... So far, I have been very excited with what we have seen with this team in preseason. It's only been one game. Um, but, you know, overall, I, I think that, I think that <laughs> I've got a lot to look forward to. I think we have a lot to look forward to in, in the coming, um, coming weeks, uh, getting ready, you know, for the, the regular season. Of course, you know, some of the cuts that we have made, uh, no surprise that we cut Troy Apke. Uh, I just think that there was no place for him at this point. Um, I think you're going to see some surprise cuts, but also I think what you're going to wind up seeing are some cuts of some guys that in the past we would have said, hey, these are these are what you call the Joe Gibbs. They fight, they fight their guts out players, but guys who still make mental mistakes – and I think Ron Rivera is going to try to eliminate the guys who make mental mistakes. You can't have guys like that on the team. You know, it's not just the physical making plays. It's smart guys as well who who don't make the mental mistakes. And honestly, you saw that. That's what really cost us the game against Carolina was guys who made mental mistakes. And those guys are probably want, will not wind up. Wind, <laughs> blah, will probably wind up being cut and uh that's all i gotta say about that anyway uh let me know what you think uh let me know, know what you thought about uh the game uh, this past weekend um uh, yes overall your thoughts on uh the preseason so far um the things that you really liked that you've seen things that you didn't like so far and uh, yeah let's let's just talk about it um, I'm trying to get this channel back going again. I know that I have been absent 
Um, I have had so much going on. I have had zero time to do videos, and I have hated that because this is the time that I need to be extremely active on this channel, and I feel like I am late to the game, and I am late to the game. So I am trying to make up for lost time, and the algorithm on YouTube is just kicking me in the hind end right now. So what I can do is just try to put out videos as much as I can. Certainly stuff that you guys want to, to see and talk to me about. But at the same time for you guys, what I appreciate if you can just make sure that you, when you are subscribed, you're going to have to go back and hit that notification bell. Because the thing is, is that I have noticed that they will unsubscribe well they won't unsubscribe you i mean i'm talking about youtube uh but they will uncheck that notification bell so they won't send you notifications when i come out with videos and unfortunately that's that's kind of the thing so you have to make sure that you have that notification bell turned on so that you're notified when i send out a new video otherwise you're not going to know and then um, I'm going to have maybe 30 views on my channel. And that's just kind of the thing that happens with YouTube. So uh, please make sure that you do have the notifications turned on uh, so that you know when uh, Washington Football Maniacs come out with a new video. Uh, and please, you know, like these videos if you can. Um, Put some comments on here, subscribe, or I should say share these videos. I need more coffee. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, so share these videos with others. Get the word out that, you know, we're cranking this thing up again. That said, I will see you in the next one. But something deep inside won't let me quit.